What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure. As you can see, Goodwill is back there. Let's get in there. Let's see if we can find something to flip for a profit on eBay. <music> So we're meeting a guy for a Facebook Marketplace deal, small deal, but we'll make some good money on it. Before then, we're gonna stop in here. Got a line today. So I'll have to find something that's worth standing in line for, I guess. Fifty percent off women's clothes today. Don't typically look at them, but 2018 Kid Rock. I'm thinking that's probably no bueno. Kind of cool. Worth a dollar? I think. Yo, they have black ones. Did you know there were? But I've never found a black one before. Huh. Cavaliers. That one's been here a while. This is pretty beat up. That's not a great size or anything. Everlast boxing trunks. These are, they're not great, but they're good. 10 bucks, so they're probably a $30 shoe. It's a Air Pegasus. It's a good shape when you think about it. Anything in toys looks like there's not a whole lot over here. Nothing's jumping out at me. I don't want to really dig through it all. Oh, we all know that, but I'm not sure what the tags got there. But three ninety nine, two ninety nine for. Our boy Garfield. No cookie monster. Hello, it me, Cookie Monster. That's so ticklish. I mean, where else but thrifting are you going to find this in a store? All right, so Facebook Marketplace deal now done. I uh, didn't record because, I mean, that's always kind of weird. So um, let's get home. I'll show you what I picked up at Goodwill and at the meetup. What we found at Goodwill, this I think you saw me pick up. I didn't shoot a lot of the time while I was looking through clothes because nobody likes to watch people flipping through clothes racks. But really cool Marvel shirt. I think it's cool. I mean, it's not an old shirt, but it's got the old style graphics of uh, you know we got thor captain america I, this is such a cool look um this is a women's extra small so may take a little bit longer to sell because of the size but uh it, it's a cool shirt 
so I picked it up, especially for a buck. We're going to pick that up. Then we've got Harley Davidson again for a dollar. Nothing special here. Women's Harley Davidson. This was an XL. I think it was somewhere in Washington. It says on the back um, in real small up on the neck, but I just thought it was kind of cool. We got the, the bedazzled emblem there. I don't know. For a dollar, why not? At the very least, it's a $9.99 free shipping and you make a couple bucks. Hard Rock Couture. This is uh, San Diego. You know, typically I only pick up the Hard Rock from weird locations or if, if they're very old, right? But this one actually is new with tags. And so that's why I picked it up. I like new with tags stuff, especially around Christmas. You can see this was $27.50 in the store. So you got to think we can get about 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks out of it, something like that. So I did pick that one up again for a buck. And then this, I, very random, and that's why I picked it up. Um, it's a Hannah Montana put me in the spotlight scrub top. Um, I don't know. It's an XL, which is obviously, you know, that, that, that's a good size. I, I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know. But since it was different, I did pick it up. Uh, I, I don't know how many are listed. I haven't looked, but I would guess it's 15 or 20 bucks, something like that. I don't know. Um, and then these Everlast, these men's Everlast trunks, these are pretty good. I, I've got to look over them again and make sure that they're in good shape, but I didn't see anything wrong with them. So these are size large. They have, uh, at least at a quick look, they only had uh, brand new Everlast trunks listed and they were 30 plus bucks. So I had to be able to get 15 plus shipping out of this really easy because there aren't any used trunks listed. So that's what we got there. And then, I mean, you saw that. I, how could I not pick that up? Right. I, is it worth anything? I don't know. Um, probably not much, but, uh, you know, it's new, it's sealed in, in plastic so there you go um we also you saw me find these these are the nike uh pegasus air pegasus i think 83 i'll have to look them up i'll have to look up the code but they're in good shape not great shape they're in good shape i mean the uppers and everything are good i can't find any cracking or anything like that the bottoms are a little dirty so i will have to run them through the wash but I think they'll wash up really well. They've got a cool colorway. And I, you know, I paid up for them. They were $9.99. I maybe shouldn't have paid that much for them. But um, the Pegasus sells well. And so I figured they're worth at least 20 or 30 bucks plus shipping. So we'll we'll make some money on them. I'm not worried about that. It's just I paid a little higher than what I typically do. And then we got this guy. You saw him in the store, Garfield. I like picking up vintage Garfield. This is from the early 80s. And usually when you find Garfield, he's the little guy, right? Like he's this size. Um, this is pretty tall. I don't have a ruler out here, but this is at least 12 inches. It might be like 15. I don't know. Um, it's pretty big. So I, I haven't comped him yet. I don't know, but he's still got a lot of fluff. He's not all squished down. A little bit beat up on the eyes, but um, otherwise, really nice shape. So uh, we picked up the Garfield plush. And then this is going to make us the most money, I think. But it's going to take a while. And so I really had to decide, do I want to spend, this was $5.99. So the price was right, but do I want to have it spend the time sitting in my shop? Um Ultimately, I decided I did because it does come with the box. It is beat up. Um, like right here, it's just split. On another corner, it's taped. But this is what it is. I mean, you can see on the, on the cover, obviously. Um, but all the pieces are here. And it's really, really clean. So I picked this thing up. This ought to sell for 40 or 50 bucks, I think. Especially in the shape that it's in with all the lids with all the containers they're not all scuffed up this looks barely used or really well taken care of and it's got the original box so that's what we got at goodwill guys we spent 33 dollars. i rounded up it was like 32.87 or something and i actually i got a uh, a drink so 
Um, that was probably $31, call it $31 that we spent on uh, stuff to resell. And I think we did real well. Here is our Facebook Marketplace grab today, guys. Um, I, I saw, actually listed three days ago, somebody had some uh, Hallmark Star Wars ornaments listed and then a random Indiana Jones. Now, uh, by the time I got to it, one had sold quickly and then two sold last night. So I missed three Star Wars ornaments. Two of them, you know, not a big deal. They were kind of run of the mill. One of them was an old Imperial shuttle that's worth about 40 bucks. So that was a bummer to miss out on. I paid 40 um, for these ornaments. And I'll just tell you, um, Indiana Jones, this one used should go for about 30 bucks. Um, and I, I got to look at him. He said some of them never even out of the box. This one, even if it is new, I'm going to have to sell it, obviously, used because the, the box is trash. I can sell it new other maybe. I don't know. But it's worth about 30 bucks. This one, uh, Princess Leia. This was it was from A New Hope, obviously, when she's got the blaster. This one, about 20 bucks. This one is better. Uh, Royal or Rebel. This one is worth about 30 bucks, okay? So we're doing well here. Um, this guy over here, this is the, uh, the Peak Buster. Um, they had several like this, a Stormtrooper, I think, and stuff like that. This one, I think, goes for about 20 or 25 bucks. I think it might be more, probably about 25 bucks. Uh, I think Luke and Yoda, if I don't keep this one, because I think it's cool, I think it's probably about 20 bucks. And then this is our best one. You guys, new, this is selling for $80. Eight zero. Well, looky there. It's still sitting in the box and the batteries were never put in. So this is unused. Um, even though the box is a little bit banged up, I bet we get 70 bucks out of that thing. That is pretty killer. So I paid $40 for this Facebook Marketplace ornament deal, even though I missed out on at least one. I mean, we would have made a lot more money if we'd have got that other one. But even with these, thanks in large part to these two here, um, I missed out on a Boba Fett uh, Han Solo in Carbonite. Actually, that one probably 20 or 25 bucks. And R2-D2 and the Jawas, that one worth about 20, 25 bucks. So keep an eye out for these older. The ones that are good, are really good typically, is it says magic on there. Magic sound, sometimes it's magic light, magic light and sound. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's magic sound. Um, that one's just magic. Yeah, magic features sound. These are the ones that are worth more. See this one? It, just a regular hangs on your tree ornament worth like 20 bucks. Same thing with that. These sounds all worth more. So uh, when you're out there, you'll see these at garage sales. If they've got the box, if they're in good condition, uh, you know, it, it's not a bad idea to check them out, especially franchises like Star Wars. So we're going to make conservatively, uh, you know, gross on all these before we take out fees and taxes and all that stuff, 175 to 180 bucks on six ornaments. I'll do that deal. So that's what we got, guys. We uh, made a quick Goodwill trip and then we made some money on a Facebook marketplace grab. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tagging along. We're up over 2,000 subs now, which is awesome. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed. What is wrong with you? Jaeger wants to say something. I'm going to say goodbye, and you can say goodbye to Jaeger. What do you have to say for yourself? Interrupting my closing. Nothing. You have nothing to say. You get by on your good looks, don't you?